Creating faces, texturing them, animating them, and even tracking them for shots has always been a challenge for VFX artists. But today we're going to take a look at a tool that can help you get all of this done directly in Blender and also in Nuke with support for facial expression tracking. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news and today's news has to do with King Tools, Creator, or Face Tracker, Face Builder, Joe Tracker, you know, and so on and so forth. This visual effects tool company has been creating a couple of, you know, tools and we've covered the Face Builder for Blender that they've released sometime last year. So they have also gone ahead to release an update to that which is the face builder 2.0 the face builder 2.0 is now available for both new and blender the cool feature that comes with this present face builder 2.0 is the fact that they've gone ahead to optimize the entire thing and right now you can simply have facial expression this new version supports facial expression so in case you want to get your characters to smile you want to track the smile you want to track the way the head movement goes and you want to track certain facial expression, this right now supports it. One of the new features for Blender includes the EXIF base and manual photo orientation, which you can use to orient the image depending on how you want to get your final result. There's a couple of things you need to know though, because right now, if you go through to the website to download this, it's pretty easy to get this one going and you can go through to your preferences and load this directly in Blender. One of the things that you need to note when you're loading this in Blender is you would need the core library which I'm going to put link in the description where you can get this. The core library exists for both Windows, Mac and Linux. So in case you want to get this, you can go through that link and get it. With that said, you have to link up the core library directly into Blender, restart Blender and then you can have a very perfect tool working for you. The whole technique is quite the same and just something you need to note is while loading the images you need to be quite careful about the kind of image or you know the image size that you're loading. The image size you're loading in is going to determine what the final result would be. And when you try to load up images like in a complete roll at once you're definitely bound to get a couple of errors and these are things that you need to be careful about. Then you can also go back and load these things one after the other but then if you choose to load images with different sizes you may end up having you know way more errors than you kind of expected which would force you to start texture painting by hand defeating the whole secondary process of giving you textures automatically so this tool is available for nuke 8.0 and above and it's also available for blender 2.8 and above and as well if you want to play with this in nuke it has a very wonderful performance which is actually you know the core reason why this tool was built I guess the reason why they are actually working with Blender is they do have some sort of integration which they want a couple of artists to work with, especially the VFX artists that wants to do their things really quick directly in Blender. But then this plugin as a tool doesn't come cheap as you would have to get this plugin for rental only which is going to take you back $150 per year if you're seeking a personal license as a nodal lock and if you want to get for commercial license you would need to spare $300 per year as well and if you want the floating license so just in case you want to take it here and there you would need to pay $400 per year and this is the price point at which you know a tool like this comes out for so if you want to get this tool link is going to be in the description where you can download this where you can see every other tool that they have and the guys at King Tools they do have amazing softwares and amazing plugins that you like to work with especially if you're into VFX if you want to create that geometry really quick and you don't want to spend so much time you know modeling that and trying to track things the tools that they have are very very useful so i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to learn how to work with the face builder we have a full video that actually describes that link is also going to be in the description also in the cards and also in the end notes so you can go through and check them out tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.